Okay, so I got a couple articles to read to you guys, man. Just really, not really some BS, but here's the deal. So a lot of you may be saying, are you really making a video about Masika Kalisha? Listen, I, I don't normally make videos about Masika Kalisha because her fine ass blocked me on Twitter. I, I still don't even know what I did to the queen. I, I really don't know. You know, I'm still a fan of hers, but somebody else who I'm also a fan of. The beautiful and bootyful Alexa Sky five women on your screen you know she got into it with Masika back in March of 2017 and I skipped over this I, I didn't catch this but Bossa a real blog of course caught the tea so I'm gonna read to you two articles the first is from March 21st the second one is from March 28th so one week later okay the first one titled love and hip-hop harem Alexa Sky throws nasty shots at Masika Kalisha on Twitter over Fetty Wap here's what Bossa had to say about it <clears throat> Alexa Sky calls Masika Zika virus and she responds on Twitter. Oh, the same place that she blocked me on. <laughs> there were a lot of twists and turns on last night's episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It seems like the producers were eager to get out their introductions of new cast members by the second and third episodes, regardless of any of it making sense. Among these new reality faces entered Alexa Sky. The model made a brief appearance in a final scene featuring Jessica Dime. The two men up for a quote date with Tommy and young Jock cut to the green screen to Jessica and she introduces her friend quote. You may know Alexis for dating Fetty Wap with extra exaggeration on his name. There wasn't a Fetty in sight and it had nothing to do with the scene, but that doesn't matter. Cut to Twitter. And Alexis throws shots very obviously at Love and Hip Hop Hollywood's Masika Kalisha, the mother of Fetty Wap's baby. So here's what the beautiful Alexis Sky had to say. She said, but don't worry, babes. We will link soon. Yep, you're known for fucking my ex-man, trapping him, rolling on the floor, laughing emoji. What else do you do? Okay, I'm done tonight. It's not about WAP anymore. This about, quote, us, and I'll always get the last laugh. Oh, hey, Penny, call this bitch the Zika virus. It's unknown what prompted the Zika virus tweet thread, but this is how Masika responded. Uh-oh, you know, Masika is the queen of clapbacks. Masika said, this might be the busiest month I've had so far. So much work to do, but I'm so happy and legit proud of myself. God is so good. The worst thing you can do to a hungry ass bitch dying for attention is starve them. Kissing emoji. If there's a whole bitch you never meant and don't give a fuck about that's in a whole entire competition with you in her head. Boo. <laughs> you popping. We already reported that Alexis will be joining the Hollywood cast of the franchise. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Can't wait to see Alexis on the show. She's anyways. <laughs> you see what she looks like. Fetty Wap has good taste and good tasting women. I'm telling you, Fetty Wap smashed some of the baddest chicks ever. His stable of women is up there with Bow Wow's and some of the rest of these cats. Bow Wow, Nick Cannon, Joe Budden, Drake, and Fetty. Squad. Anyways, we already reported that Alexis will be joining the Hollywood cast of the franchise. And Masika was, quote, freaking out when she found out she was about to shoot a scene with her. Do you think these two will calm down and get over their Fetty beef for the sake of reality TV checks? You can see the best of Fetty Wap's exes and photos after the flip. You know, and then there's like, well, like six pages of, I guess, uh, pictures of these two beautiful women. But yeah. Anyways, let me go on to this other story from March 28th of 2017, one week later. Bossa posted an article titled, Poor Petty Wap. Alexa Sky says Fetty Wap cheated on her with Masika on her birthday. <gasps> How do you listen? Don't get me wrong. Masika is a dime and everything, but uh, but Alexis is a dime as well. Like you don't cheat on one fine woman with an, with another. I mean, if, if if you weren't with her at the time you went, uh, th this makes no sense. These dudes be doing some stupid stuff. I would not do anything to mess things up with a fine woman like Alexis Sky. Back to the article. I had to put the simping in there. Alexis Sky blasts Masika Kalisha in new interview. There's drama brewing between two of Fetty Wap's exes ahead of the new season of Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. As previously reported, Rona Sky Young's production team masterfully surprised Masika Kalisha by adding Alexis Sky to the cast 
and she's none too pleased. Masika is of course the mother of the New Jersey rapper's daughter, Kari Barbie. And Alexis was his longtime girlfriend. Now Alexis has done an interview with the Jazza brand, well, for, for the record, just a, another real blog. Where she's airing out, quote, Hosika for not only ruining her relationship, but sleeping with Fetty on her 21st birthday. A Masika coming in between her and Fetty, quote, Through the two years in my relationship, she caused so much hell, always worried about me because she wanted to be with him. But you did it all wrong. You thought keeping a baby was going to keep him. You thought keeping a baby. Wow, that's a very interesting way to word it. No, that was my man, end quote. A Masika allegedly having sex with Fetty on her birthday. Quote, he cheated on me with Masika on my birthday, actually. On my 21st birthday. She got pregnant. She knew Fetty was my man. But, you know, Hosika basically likes to go around and sleep with everybody's man. But she has the wrong one. She did that. They messed around on my 21st birthday and she purposely leaked the Snapchat of them being in the hotel room. So that was my gift. And then when I was in surgery getting my implants, she actually had the baby on the day I had my surgery. Damn, I feel bad for the beautiful Alexis guy. On a reaction to Masiga's pregnancy, quote, it was emotional for me. I didn't even know she was pregnant. She posted a picture. Mind you, I'm still in my relationship. We just moved in the house. Fairy tale. I'm driving one day and I'm on Instagram like, what? Wait a second. She was driving in, uh, in on Instagram at the same. Anyways, I'm driving one day and I'm on Instagram like, what? I thought I was about to die. I had to stop my car. And I see a picture of her. Wait a second. So she was driving and using Instagram. Come on now. The beautiful Alexis Sky. Please don't do that. Please. Drive safely. You're too beautiful to have an accident. But anyway, shaking my head, all this drama over Fetty Wap. That's what Bossop said about it. Bossop also says, what do you think about Alexis earing out Masika? See Masika's reaction on the flip. Here's what Masika said. My daughter's perfect. Money's long. Credit's great. Thigh gaps impeccable. Oh, oh, oh it definitely is. <clears throat> Real here's popping. Ass to waist ratio amazing. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> oh, shit. Talk that shit, Masika. I see why they mad. First of all, both of y'all are dimes. Come on now, Masika. You're both perfect. But anyways, they worry about me. I ain't worried about shit. <laughs> I had to say it like that because I'm being silly, but all jokes aside. They worry about me. I ain't worried about shit. Okay, so now we're on page three or four. Let me see. Alexis says, ultimately, gossip broke her and Fetty Wap up on social media matters. Quote, at first, I used to get upset about things, but, but if I wake up every day thinking about what the world thinks about me, then I wouldn't be who I am. I would probably kill myself by now. People tell me to die every day. I've just built this layer of skin of toughness, so I don't let it get to me at all. For, for the record, this is that damn war on pretty. Everybody see how they're really trying to destroy pretty? Anyways, on gossip ruining their relationship, quote, as time went by, money really changes people and I could see that. He was good to me. It was just the lifestyle affected us. The Instagram, the blogs, well, except for Meat Magazine. Of course, she wasn't talking about me. We allowed the outside world to come between us. She wasn't talking about me. I, I would never do that. But anyways, moving on to page four, my lord. On giving up her life for love. Quote, I was in a relationship and I basically stopped my whole life for a man. We've been through our ups and downs. He's not a bad person. It's just, you know how the industry is. And I gave my heart to him. And I felt like he abused the situation. Broke me down in so many ways. But I'm building myself back up to who I was before. That was the most pain that I've ever went through. I basically was living for him and trying to make him happy. So that's the end of the article. Sounds like your girl Alexis Sky was a ride or die. And it sounds like Fetty Watt was a ride that booty or die. <laughs> Sound like uh, Fetty Watt was in it to go balls deep. And it's like Alexis Sky was in it with all her heart. I, I mean, according to what she said, assuming that what she said was factual. 
you know, for legal reasons. I don't want, you know, Fetty Wap's team to come after me or anything like, hey, bro, you know, what are you talking about? But anyways, man, ah, here we have two beautiful melanated women, beautiful hair, beautiful faces, amazing bodies, ass for light years. And they're fighting over a Cyclops rapper. Earth 2017. For the record, my Jesus. Earth 2017. Where two dime piece goddesses will fight over a ninja with 5011 baby mamas. And then midgets in wheelchairs ain't got no woman. Not that I know any midgets in wheelchairs, but I'm just saying. Anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? Shout out to Alexis Sky. Even shout out to Masika Kalisha, even though her ass blocked me on Twitter. It's all good. <laughs> Still a fan. <laughs> but, you know, they're too fine for all of this. And Alexis, I would never treat you like this, Alexis. Just give me one chance. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll dog you out, Heffa. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, no. I would, I, would treat, I would treat you like a lady and bang you like a tramp. But anyway, shout out to Alexis Sky with her fine ass. You know, there's no reason for a dime piece like this to go through that, man. This is tell you, this is all the war on pretty. I'm starting to think that Fetty Wap's involved with the conspiracy. You know, I'm really starting to think. Yeah, actually, I'm starting to notice that there's some dudes that are involved with the shit. T.I., I'm, I'm blaming him for what he did to Tiny. Uh, you know, there's too many fine women with too much face and too much booty walking around for these dudes to be doing the dumb shit that they're doing. Some of you male holes out here need to tighten up. You just need to tighten up. I, I, I don't understand how a fine woman like Alexa Sky would ever have to go through anything other than maybe getting her feet rubbed too many times. But maybe that's just a simp in me. I don't know, man. But anyways, my Jesus, I love me some Alexa Sky. I think she's fly. That's what her name is, Sky. I think that a beautiful woman like her should never have to go through anything at all in life. Everything should just be handed to her and everything should just be perfect for her because... She's perfect. So anyways, just because I think that doesn't mean you feel the same way because you might be a hater. Either way, whether you want to see this beautiful goddess suffer or you're like me and you understand that beautiful women like Alexa Sky deserve the bestest. I would give this woman the world and I don't just mean a globe and say, look here, baby, here's a globe from a classroom that, you know, I boosted back in 98. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's a motherfucking, it, 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 you know, it, it's the world. It's representative of the world. It's, a, it's, a, it's symbolic. No, fuck that. I mean, I would give this woman the world on a platter. But then again, I'm not the one that was tapping it. Fetty Wap was, so he must have been doing something right. I'm just saying. But anyways, my Jesus, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Be sure to hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. When you press that button, it'll notify you when new videos get posted. Ladies, if your man is getting on your nerves or he's really not showing any interest, leave that bum and come get with this mean three and a half inches. Holla at Meat Magazine.